Hola, hola. Are you showing yourself love today? What are you committed to? Are you committed to you? Now, these are wonderful questions that have come up this week. And if you checked out the weekly reading, you will, you will know that this week is all about ourselves, our commitments to ourselves, and really learning to surpass our comfort zones and really break through our attachments. So, I'm super excited to be here with you on Valentine's Day. Hello, welcome. And to talk to you about what's the most important things that is important to you, right? So, the angels have shared with me many, many times, what are you committed to, right? And and it comes up in so many different ways. And sometimes we say that we're committed to ourselves, that we are committed to our growth, and yet our behaviors aren't of that of commitment, aren't of that to commitment to ourselves. So I want you this week and today to really set the tone as far as what are your commitments to yourself? What are you committed to for you? You know, tomorrow is the new moon. New moon energy is all about bringing in the new, right? New moon, bringing in the new, right? And really setting clear intentions. And I really want you to utilize this new moon because there's so much powerful energy around this new moon. Sorry for the noise outside. There is so much energy in this full, this new moon that I want you to take advantage of this in setting your intentions. And in order for us to set our intentions, it really helps for us to know what we are truly committed to. So, for instance, for myself, some of my commitments, my commitment is to really be as much as possible a vehicle of light, right? Through my actions, through my non-actions, through the way that I live my life, the way that I step into the world. And through that, that's my commitment, to try to be as much as possible a vehicle of light. And... So when I go about making decisions, I tap into what is my commitment, which is a vehicle of light, and then I step into being that. Do you see? So I want you to recognize what are your commitments? What are your commitments to yourself? Okay, most importantly to yourself. You know, we, we make commitments with other people. We make commitments for plans. We make commitments to our job yet when it comes to ourselves we talk ourselves out of our commitments a lot of the time so i want you to get clear on your commitments and to stick with your commitments right so some commitments that you may come about is working one hour a day on let's say you want to start your new business or write a book right so you spend one hour half an hour you know a day doing that activity that's your commitment so that you can have that outcome right so that you can have that finished book so that you can start that business so you could start welcoming clients right all of those things but that starts with how you're showing up with yourself as a commitment right and we're so easy to ask for others to commit to us right oh i want i want him to commit to me i want her to commit to me i want my job to commit to me yet when it comes to ourselves we don't show up and this is how we establish trust and how we build on our intuition as well when we sorry about that if we have trust within ourselves we are able to tap into this level of higher of the vibration of what we're saying we want so there's many things that we can do to share that we love ourselves and when we make our commitments i want you to make your commitments out of love to yourself so right now you know i was um I, you know one of the commitments that i've 
I'm practicing that I started early this week, started Monday, was to work on my legs, right? I'm like, oh my god, my legs are feel so jiggly. I don't feel strong anymore like I used to. I used to be very athletic and and now it's like I don't I'm not as athletic as I was before and I don't feel strong in my legs. So I found a five minute video on like really boosting your legs and working out your quads, right? Well, I think that's, no, you're try. I don't know what they're called, sorry, <laughs> right? That big muscle in your leg, <laughs> right, right on your thigh. So I, I was like, okay, I want something that doesn't take a lot of my time because I know my habit. My habit is if it takes up, you know, too much time, then I will easily start talking my way out of it after a few weeks. So I found a video that is intense, okay, but it's five minutes, okay, and it works because all I have to do is show up for five minutes and I'm committing to myself to feeling stronger and I must say it's only day three or day four and I am feeling stronger in my legs, like I'm totally sore, but I'm committed to it, right? So sometimes, you know, we have these commitments um, and we want to do things out of love because I love myself and I want my body to be strong because I want to be here for quite a long time on this physical earth because there's so many things I want to physically do. And I know that for me to do that, I need a strong body and I want to grow into my age with a strong body, if you get what I mean, right? I'm not going to let age define my body, but I'm going to define my age. You get it? So in that is my goal, right? So showing up for five minutes a day is nothing. I spend more time do brushing my hair than doing that, right? I, br I brush my teeth longer than five minutes. So it's those kinds of things, right? So it doesn't have to be big, but it's out of love, right? It's out of love of myself and what I want. So you see how when you have a commitment and it's out of self-love, it really benefits you but everyone else because it supports all your goals, right? If you want to travel, you want to have your own business, you need to have energy for those things, right? You, it's just inedible. Right, so you have to work on how to how do you get your energy? Where do you get it from? And you start learning what your plugins are, right? And we spoke about this many times in other videos, but your plugins are the places where you're getting your fuel, your energy, like your phone gets its energy from electricity. Okay, so it's that sort of thing. Okay, so this is what I want you to start looking in when you're doing love and love practices okay, for yourself, it's connected with your commitments. And it's important that you commit to you. And it's not someone else, but it's you. Because um, what I've learned through time is when we attach our commitments to someone else or a specific project or something outside of ourselves, it leaves room for disappointment and then stopping what your commitment was, what your self-love practice was. And this is important for us. And as we celebrate Valentine's Day, and we're sharing our love with everyone around us. We also must remember to share that love with yourself. Like I bought myself my favorite rose okay i love this rose you know it's my favorite color like that pink magenta kind of color and i bought it for myself and i feel so amazing and good for it right so that was one of my ways of showing appreciation and like loving myself but also showing up this morning and doing that five minute workout which burns <laughs> It burns! Woo! Oh my god. If if the woman was in my room, I would tell her girlfriend, you got me on fire. <laughs> you know? But it's important that you start looking at where you're investing your energy as a way and through your commitments and through your self-love practices. 
okay this is gonna be ideal this is gonna be important this is gonna be a place for you to really make a lot happen welcome Ben hola hola so what you know commitment looks different it depending on what it is that you are setting up for yourself okay so commitment could look like I'm gonna make sure I sleep eight hours a night right where it's like you literally set your day so that it can be in that time frame so it could be in that vehicle of it do you get it do you understand so um you have to also get connected into what is your passion right um if you know, self-love isn't making money, but self-love is having the money to do the things you want and that you want to do, right? So it's not in the act itself sometimes, but in the what it would give you. What is what is the advantage of having a specific thing? Hola, Will. Hola, hola. Happy Valentine's Day to you and your family. <laughs> so... Well, I want you to really sit and ask yourself, spend some time with yourself today, at least a minute, and just write down what love looks like for you and what are your commitments around that, right? My commitment is to share light with the world and one of the ways that I do that is being here with you. It's by communicating with the angels and sharing these angel messages with you, okay? That's one way that I share my light and be that vehicle of light. And it really ties into my passion, you know? And it's not, it's not an act. It's an actual burning desire within yourself. And when you're doing the, when you're doing the thing, right where in my case I'm communicating messages from angels and like working on personal development and really helping people overcome their limited beliefs that they have been programmed to believe in for themselves when I'm doing that work there is this surge of energy within right that's called passion right and direction right so that's my goal and sometimes it, it is like doing some things that I'm not too excited about right I'm not too excited about editing videos right or or like maybe posting things all the time but it's a part of putting the whole picture together and because of that I'm committed to having this information to given to you as much as possible that is why I show up right it's easy to talk yourself out of things so what I want you to do is well you could choose to or not right you can choose to do this or not but I do this all the time and I really get clear about what are my commitments Right? And it could be something that you're committed for a week. Right? It could be something that you're committed for a month. Right? It could be a commitment that is for life. Right? So right now, at my commitment is to show up and to be a vehicle of light. That is, that is my commitment for life. And the way that it shows up month to month has been and year to year because now Miracles Within Us is about to hit five years in March, which I'm so excited for, ah! right? Five years, right? As it goes from year to year, it has been through my business, Miracles Within Us. Now that can change, right? That can change. My way of showing my light with the world can change. However, my trueness right my true desire my true being my true essence stays the same so know that some commitments are timed and others um and those time commitments support the passion the real love the real purpose of you right the real and it's important the real purpose of you what is your purpose and it looks different for all of us my purpose is to be a vehicle of light. That might be yours as well. 
For a lot of us, it is. For a lot of us light workers, and if you're watching this, you're most likely a vehicle of light. And that's why you're hearing this message. Okay? So, what is it? And how are you showing and sharing? And what are your commitments in that vehicle of light? Right? That is what I want you to really do. And that is out of self-love. Because there's a fulfilling notion that happens within that is so incredible that you cannot explain in words. Okay? So I want you to understand that. And this Valentine's Day, and as we celebrate Love Week here, right, on Miracles Within Us, and because of that, I decided to do a Love Week special with the Angels where we're doing 50% uh, off most of the readings and more, right? So you can definitely take advantage of that. And this is a great time because we have the new moon. We have a lot of love energy in the air right now, okay? And this, and it's not about romantic love. It's just love, right? Just appreciation, acknowledgement. There's just so much of it right now. People are really, really embodying that right now. So this is a great time to getting clear, loving messages from your angels. So um, take advantage of that. You can do so at my website, MiraclesWithinUs.com. And I'll have the link below so you could go directly to the page. Um, so what are your commitments? What are you committed to? Do whatever it takes for that. Sometimes it takes you need someone to keep you accountable. Then you go ahead and you find that person who's going to help keep you accountable so that you get your shit done. <laughs> simple, simple, simple. Go get it done. Okay? So s remember to say you love yourself, right? That that's that's my favorite mantra is I love me or I love you. <laughs> right? Cuz I love you is still talking to myself, right? And I want you to start embodying what that looks like for you because it really opens up so much amazing love and potential and movement forward. So I hope you enjoy this. Have a happy Valentine's. And until the next time, I love you unconditionally. Namaste.